Hello, my name's Terry, and I work in the Student Financial Services Office here at the University of Vermont. Today, I would like to share a short video with you about applying and provide some information for the Direct PLUS loan available to parents of dependent students at, here at UVM, undergraduates. This is a loan borrowed from the Department of Education. It is in the parent's name and it does require credit approval. For the 24-25 year, the interest rate is fixed at 9.08% and it does begin with a term of 10 years. You may extend that, of course, then you would pay more interest. There is also an origination fee that is deducted from the loan. That is 4.228%. So approximately for every dollar you borrow, we will receive on the student's account 96 cents. There are two steps to apply for the loan and I'll take you through those screens in a moment. One is to apply for the PLUS loan at the federal website to um, allow for a credit approval. And the second is to complete the master promissory note. There is detailed information at our webpage, uvm.edu forward slash SFS. So the first step, as I indicated, is at the federal website, studentaid.gov. And across the banner, you would see loans and grants which would bring down this menu plus loans for parent plus borrowers. If you do have a freeze on your credit, you would have to remove that to allow for the credit approval to be reviewed. You will receive an immediate response on whether you're approved or not for the loan. So it is a very timely loan. Uh, what you will need is the parent that is borrowing the loan will need an FSA ID number. That is a unique identifier to sign these documents at the federal website. And this, the amount that you wish to borrow, the student, the school name, the student's information, and your personal information. So um, there is, this is what the banner looks like. I'm the parent of an undergraduate student. There is a nice dem demo here. You can click on the link to see what the loan is about before logging in to apply. And you can read a, um, a version here if you click on that link as well. What's nice about the application is you can see your progress banner across the top of the screen and you would log in with your FSA ID number, not your students, and you would select the year that you would like to borrow the loan and then your student and school, the student school information. Now, an important factor um, is to consider how much you wish to borrow. Um, what you need to do is consider that origination fee. So I've provided a divisor here and the amount of the origination fee, but on the website, you can help get help calculating the plus loan fees. In this example, I'm choosing to, spar to specify the loan amount I'd like to borrow at $20,883. That will provide um, 10,000 per semester, fall and spring for my student. To calculate what you would need to borrow, you can use our billing estimator located on our website, uvm.edu forward slash SFS to estimate the net amount due for your student with tuition and fees, um, if applicable, room and meals, less any grants and scholarships and the direct loan that the student might be borrowing in their name to get to that net amount due for the year. Now you can choose what loan period you wish to borrow. If you borrow for the full year, the loan will be split equally with two payments, one for the fall, one for the spring. If you borrow only for the fall, there'll be one payment for the fall semester. And if you were gonna use this 
funding source again, you would have to reapply for the loan. And same for the spring if you're only borrowing one semester. There is one important thing to think about. Um, the repayment of this loan would begin um, within 60 days after the loan is paid to the school. So if you borrow for the full year, you would not begin to make a payment until that second spring disbursement is paid to the university. So after you um, indicate your student information, then you're going to make some decisions. Do you wish to begin repayment of this loan or do you wish to defer payment? Um, just keep in mind, if you defer this payment while your student is in school, the interest would be accruing and would be waiting at the end of that uh, deferment period. There is the capability to defer up to six months after the student leaves school, hopefully graduating from school. There is another question about authorization for UVM to use loan funds to pay other fees. For example, a library fee or a parking fee, not regular um, tuition and room and board and meals fees. There is, if you, there is a credit balance, you have to decide, do you want the credit, the overpayment to be uh, uh, given to the student by direct deposit, or do you want the overpayment given to you, the parent borrower? That would be mailed by paper check to your address. So the last step is to agree to the credit check, then review your application and submit. Again, you'll know immediately whether you're approved or not for the loan. So let's say you're approved for the loan. I'll talk about being not approved in a moment. And the next step would be to complete the master promissory note. Same location, studentaid.gov. It's an online legal document that you would sign logging in with your FSA ID number. So when that, when that loan is paid to the student's account, that would be paid up to 10 days before the start of the semester. The bill is due before the start of the semester. So once the loan is approved, our office will add it to the student's financial aid award, and then we will show it as a deduction of pending aid on the student's billing uh, account, their student account. If the loan is there before we bill, it will be on the student account statement that's issued and posted. If you, again, borrowing for a full year, half will be paid to the fall, half will be paid to the spring. We talked about a credit balance. If it overpays the account, uh, refunds to the parents go by paper check, so it might be, take a little bit longer to get to you. If you decide to refund it to your student, that will be directly deposited to the bank account that they have indicated on their student account. Now, if there is um, a complication with the PLUS loan due to adverse credit review, we have two options. The parent borrower can invite an endorser, a credit worthy co-signer to sign for their loan. That endorser would submit an addendum, um, be approved for the credit, and then the parent would that sign that master promissory note for that specific amount of loan. Option two, if the parent doesn't have a co-signer, can't resolve the credit issue on their record, then they can say, I won't pursue the PLUS loan, but I do want my student to be eligible for an additional unsubsidized loan. That would be a loan in the student's name. The student won't be able to borrow the full PLUS loan, but they can borrow $4,000 for a first or second year student for the year, or $5,000 for a junior or senior student the student would send an email request to our office, SFS for Student Financial Services, 
at uvm.edu asking to be awarded this additional loan in lieu of the Parent PLUS loan. So I hope this information was helpful you, to you. Um, we are here to help you with um, managing and putting together um, whatever funding you need help with, um, whether it's loan or using a 529 payment plan along with your loan, um, a payment plan, um, a monthly payment plan that we offer. We'd be happy to help. Our office is open from 10 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. We are here all summer and all through the academic year. You may call us or email or stop in. We're just, uh, that's, that's what we're here for, is to talk through a plan that works for you and your student. Thank you very much.